against someone instead of for someone, your vote shouldn't count. I think if you voted out of hatred, your vote shouldn't count. I think if you're an uneducated voter, your vote should not count. I think there should be some sort of aptitude test before voting. You should be able to answer a series of questions about both parties and their policies before you're allowed to vote and make this decision. Conservatives and Republicans continue to say the quiet parts out loud. And those quiet parts show us that they are actually not the party of freedoms and liberty that they claim to be. Because that right there is voter suppression. Universal suffrage is the right of all adults to vote regardless of their social or economic status. And these tests that she's proposing would prevent that. How do we know they'd prevent it? Because we already had them in our country. We called them literacy tests. Literacy tests were a racist Jim Crow era law that prevented immigrants, people of color, and poor white people from voting. All under the guise of having a more educated and informed electoral vote. And in reality, all it did was suppress the votes of anyone who was not rich or white. We know how racist and disgusting those laws were. And for any person to suggest that we go back to that, it's just abhorrent. Do better.